former Dallas cop Amber Geiger, she was found guilty of murder in the shooting death of her neighbor, Botham John. Geiger says she mistakenly entered his apartment, thinking it was her own, and then shot him dead in 2018. The jury in this case deliberated for less than two days, ultimately rejecting her self-defense claims. Now, she faces a prison <coughs> sentence of five to 99 years, and here is what the attorney for Botham John's family is now saying. This is a huge victory, not only for the family of Botham Jean, but as, as his mother Allison told me a moment ago, this is a, a victory for black people in America. Uh, it's, it's a signal that the, the tide is going to change here. So I, I, I want to know, the sentencing phase is also happening today. So that's a really crazy thing to happen. What do you guys think, knowing the judge has all of this on her plate, what do you think is going to be the sentence? I just kind of want to go around the horn real quick. Well, knowing the judge and how harsh she's been in the past, um, especially people on, like, in these situations, she's given the death penalty. Well, not this specific, this is very unique, but I think that she's going to move forward and be harsh, and I know that that's not the way the history usually goes. That's, that doesn't usually happen when a white woman kills a black person. Right, but, but five to 99, what, if you had to give it years, I, some years? I would say 25. Okay, I know. 25. Wow, wow. Yeah. that's, well, knowing that same judge who allowed the defense or, or allowed the, the Castle Doctrine stand your ground plea to be up in there, uh, that opened up a lot of, uh, a can of worms, and a lot of people thought that she was going to get off. I'm sh pretty shocked that she was found guilty. So I'm going to say five, and she only does wow. three. Because wow. I understand people are saying, you know, for black people, the ties are, are going to turn. But at, at the end of the day, a lot of people, and I still feel like that's a white woman who was up there crying say, and saying that she wished that he would have taken her life, and he was waving his arms aggressively. So you think five only. A, five. All right, three. Al. Thanks for cutting me short. Anytime. Yeah. Anytime. Yeah. Anytime. <laughs> no, I, and, and I understand where Brandon's coming from. I mean, we, we've seen things, obviously with the, the Freddie Gray case, uh, those officers were found guilty, but then they got almost nothing for yeah. sentence. Yeah. So, so, yes, we've seen it. Yes, yeah. so we've seen So that's where a lot of the angst that Brandon is coming in, and a lot of African Americans are coming from. This feels different to yeah, me, me and I don't really? know why. Okay. It just feels different as quickly as she was convicted. I believe that she didn't come off well on the stand. I believe that this judge is not going to mess around, and I believe that the city of Dallas, which I was just in Friday, just getting the overall feeling of the city, I don't think that, there's not this like half are with her and half are against her. I don't think it's going to work out well for her. I don't, you know, I, I mean, this is a tragedy, but I mean, justice needs to be served. So put a uh, number on it. Put a number on it. Uh, I'm gonna, I'll say she's going to do 10 to 12. I think I'm with you. I think it's 15 to 25, and I do think she is making the sentencing, sentencing, sentencing phase quickly because it's a signal that she's going to be harsh.